Tenimbu's running mate, insensitive politicians will be punished by Nigerians. Olewapo Hashim, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. Former All Progressives Congress APC presidential candidate Benga Olowekwo Hashim has stated that insensitive politicians will be punished in the 2023 general election. He was responding to comments of Bola Ahmed Terembo's peak of Kashim Shetima, a Muslim from the north, as his running mate. Olawe Hashim stated that there is no longer need to argue or make further inflammatory statements regarding Terembo's peak and that a poll should be the platform for such concern to be expressed. While you all have the right to express ourselves, we should avoid provocative remarks that can further undermine our national integration goals. Let us make our decisions privately and express them with our vote, he urged. That is democracy. There is no need for debate. The former People's Democratic Party PDP member has also slammed politicians who bribe delegates to vote for them in the primaries, saying they must realize it would be difficult to buy over 40 million Nigerians' vote to win the 2023 allegation. He went on to say that everyone who loves his or party and loves Nigeria must ensure that the parties do the correct things. Why buying delegates at party convention is the cheapest option, the general election is a different story. National security is at risk and nothing will pass, he said. He encouraged President Muhammad Buhari to keep his promise that the 2023 election will be free and fair, adding, it is past time for election to represent Nigerians' genuine desire. Hmm. Okay, so the long and short of what this man said is, we don't even need to come out and make noise. We don't need to come out and say this is what we want. Let us keep our minds our mouth closed and, you know, just do our thing. The way these people are coming out and they are keeping their mouth closed, you know, they are coming out and they, they are saying, you know, you don't care. And that is the way we too, we don't care too. On that proper day, we are going to also, you know, show ourselves. And that is what I've been saying all along. We have to be careful not to drive the country to endless problems. Tunibu is an old man and I think that his sense is not accurate to understand the country anymore. Uncle, they will come for you. They will come for you. They will. If you ask me my own opinion, I will tell you, like I've always said from the beginning, this is not supposed to be an issue. It's not. All right, well, at the end of the day, huh, we should make sure we do that. We come outside with the PBC, we don't even need to make noise. All we need to do is to cast our votes and see that our votes have been heavily count. And then we leave. Lord God Almighty will not forget to judge and punish Asiwaji Bola and Metirembo for taking people for granted. He must be punished. All right. Must we vote for Turambo? Those for those are the people that those are for people that like him. It will pain them because because of Turambo, some of them have so many clashes with others. So they are the ones to punish him by not voting him. Thank God he has showed them his true color. Well, whatever at the end of the day. At the end of the day. <laughs> All right. Um Many people that make noise on social media do not have PVC or cannot be patient for the queue of voting days. With the real voters, they don't have Android phone. That is a more reason social media president would not win election. Well, like I've said before, and I'm still saying again, and don't want us to come out and we are making noise on this particular issue again.
All right. Let us make our decisions privately and express them with our vote. That is what I have been trying to say for all those. Let us make our decision wisely. All right. Let us make sure we do this. It's not by... All right. Okay. Why we have the right to express ourselves, we should avoid provocative remarks. It's also struck out. It's also struck. Um, all right. He's saying why we have the right to come out, express ourselves. We should make sure we don't do it in such. All right. All right, at the end of the day, what she's saying is, you know, even if you want to come out and even make statements, your mouth not greet you. You won't make statements. You should not result in making use of remissive remarks. All right, well, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, let's see how, you know, things unfold. Let's see if Nigerians will indeed vote for, you know, um vote for this Muslim Muslim ticket or let's see someone who who will who will who will not vote for him. It is a choice to make. That is just it. It is a choice to make. Alright, well at the end of the day the thing is um like I've said earlier before the whole thing will go as planned. We're just hoping that at the end of all right. Well, at the end of the day, I might just hope that um, you know people get to use the PVC to vote. Yes, that is what it meant. People use their PVC and they communicate whatever they want through their PVCs. There is no need for alarm. There's no need to say it now. All right. Okay. On this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.